what are you doing to really drive companies here in the region to push ahead corporate governance practices? Well, we aim to encourage companies to abide with best practices because we believe it's in their own interest. Uh, we live in a part of the world which is becoming rapidly international, much more globalized. Therefore, the benefits of greater transparency and disclosure um, translate themselves into more confidence on the part of investors. And so we like to work with companies, banks and others to improve their corporate governance. And by doing so, um, they realize that uh, not only do they get more faithful clients, but they also inspire more confidence to their investors. And what's your definition of good governance? Well, the set of good practices in terms of transparency and disclosure, in terms of having a competent and skilled board, in terms of having a balanced board, in terms of having good oversight over the executives, in terms of good risk management, all of those really comprise good governance. And how much does it boost investor confidence, do you think? Oh, it's very clear. The evidence, particularly from emerging markets, is that better governed companies, better governed banks earn a premium, they have a lower cost of capital, um, and they perform better. Now, there's a lot of family offices in the region. How do you really change the mindset there? The, the family offices and families that are behind them care a lot about succession because it is about surviving. It is about going from one generation to another with a very healthy company. And that is the essence of good governance, uh, making sure that your company survives, that the family's wealth is well preserved and well protected, and making sure that you sustain yourself into several generations. And what do you see as the major challenges, perhaps, in this region? Well, corporate governance is a very new thing because many of our companies are small and medium enterprises, they're family businesses, or at the other extreme, you've got state-owned enterprises. So the whole issue of, say, listing a company and going to the market and having to abide with corporate governance practices, listing requirements and all the rest is relatively new. So it, there's a little bit of a culture gap. And what we do in Haukama is to help bridge that corporate governance gap. Do you think the crises that we've seen over the past few years have really been a wake-up call to companies in this region? Well, there have been two types of crises. The, of course, the great financial crisis uh, was a big, uh, of course, wake-up call. But more important, I think, is uh, the Arab firestorm, the events, the political uh, and other events that we've seen uh, unraveling ac across the region, which have really been a call for better governance, uh, for greater transparency, disclosure, accountability. And that call is coming through at all levels. So a call for change. Well, it's not only called for change, it's a call for better accountability above all and to make sure that people in power, whether they are in power in companies or whether they're in power in governments, uh, take heed and listen. And also that change, development, prosperity and wealth should be well shared and that there should be a trickle down.